Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across. Indian wedding garb? I guess that has to be a sari. Let's see if we can confirm that. Word before dish or effect? Hmm. Dish. Is it side dish? Side effect? Yeah, that sounds good. Book after Joel? Oh no, biblical books. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, we're going to need help on this one. Campus Military Org? That's the ROTC. I don't remember what that stands for. Not by check or credit card, say. Hmm, I guess that's in cash. You're talking about how you're going to pay for something. Um, it's showtime for me. An equivalent phrase. I'm on, I think. Get out. Is it escape, maybe? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's take a look at our first probable theme answer here. Much of Roy Lichtenstein's work. Um, hmm. Roy Lichtenstein was doing the kind of comic book panel paintings, right? Um, and he would kind of put the halftone pattern in them. It's starting to look like it starts with dot, right? That would give us Amos for the book after Joel. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to end, though. It's probably like an everyday phrase that starts with dot. Hmm. Yeah, let's get more crossing help. I think we're on the right track, though. International group founded in 1960 in Baghdad. Hmm. This is looking like it might be OPEC, right? The cartel of oil producing nations. Nine slash. Maybe this is just the symbol for September. Yeah. The month that we're in right now. Okay. Coach's strategy. I guess this is kind of just like a general like coach of a sports team. It could be a game plan, right? Yeah, that looks good. Dot com. I have no idea where this is going. Interesting. Calculus calculation. It's not a derivative. Hmm. Show of shock. Could it be a gasp maybe? Yeah, I think so. Shapiro of NPR. Is it Ari Shapiro? I feel like that name sort of rings a bell. Brief periods of time? Brief periods. Is it just sex? Like seconds abbreviated? Dot comics? Is it dot comics? I mean, they were kind of like comic panels, like we were saying before. Hmm, dot comics. I mean, it's kind of interesting. It starts with dot com, and then it sort of has a little bit of extra letters tacked onto the end. I wonder if this is about like URL extensions turning into wackified phrases. Interesting. It is sort of looking like sex here. Hmm. Maybe this is area for the calculus calculation. They can be shaped like tubes or wheels. It has to be pastas, right? Yeah. Milky Way bit? That should be a star, yeah. Our galaxy is made up of billions and billions of stars. Bird prefix? Oh, um... Well, it should be like avian or something, right? Is it Avi, maybe? Let's see if we can confirm that on the crosses here. High Flyer. Maybe an aviator? Yeah, like Amelia Earhart from yesterday. Okay. Dweller west of the North Atlantic. West of the North Atlantic. Okay. Um, is it 
gonna be like someone in Greenland or in Canada? Hmm, I don't know. This is only blank. Is that this is only a test? Yeah, you see that when the stations test the emergency broadcast system, right? Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon speaker. <laughs> is that Romeo? Yeah. He had a way with words for a teenager, didn't he? Okay, black hole for socks facetiously. That has to be the dryer, right? Um, because you always lose your socks in the dryer. Yeah. Uh, is it I-E-R? How do you spell dryer? It's not a Y, right? Is it? Hip hop's public blank. Oh no, that's public enemy. Oh, it is a Y, geez. <laughs> I just didn't know how to spell the appliance, I guess. Interesting. Observe is C. Yeah, that's good. Blank city nickname for Detroit. That's Motor City. Yeah, that's where they make all the cars, or they used to make all the cars. Trophy EG. I guess that's an example of an award. We have one here for Got the Gold. Yeah, that's good. Um, it starts with America? Is it American? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Um, that kind of makes sense. America's kind of on the northern part of the Atlantic, yeah. Okay. Blank just so happens. That should be as it just so happens, I think. All right, let's take a look at our next probable theme answer here. I'm interested to see what this is gonna be. Euclid's elements, Descartes' la geometrie, etc. cetera. Um, okay. Uh, is it something classics? Is it math classics? It is, okay. Um, okay, so math class is an everyday phrase, just like .com is, and then we're adding ICS at the end again. X. Hmm. Interesting. X at the end? Ick factor? Hmm. I wonder if we're going to have a revealer phrase at some point. We do have a grid spanner in the middle here. We might be finding out very soon. Raincoats to Brits. Ooh, do they have a different name for raincoats? It probably ends in an S. Hmm. Blank page, NFL Hall of Famer turned justice on the Minnesota Supreme Court. Oh, wow. What a varied career. I don't think I know this person. It looks like it might be Alan or Alec. Skater Lipinski, that's Tara Lipinski. Yeah, she was a skater in the... 90s, a figure skater. In the fashion of should be Ala. Okay, we still don't know if this is Alan or Alec. Major mix up. That should be a snafu, right? Situation normal, all fouled up. So that's probably Alan. Hmm. Let's get one more down before we look at the grid spanner. Sound of dismissiveness. <laughs> Is that just pfft like that? Just expelling some air through your teeth? Okay, um, yeah, let's take a peek at this grid spanner here. Wacky shenanigans of a woodworker. Hmm, I don't know. This seems like it might just be another theme answer. What could this be? Hmm. I don't know. A woodworker. There's so many ways you could take this. Let's get a little bit more crossing help here. Like key lime pie, that should be tart. Like the tone of a talking to. Serious? Hmm. Display at the Getty? Is it just art? The Getty is an art museum. Hmm. Is this stony? Very serious, yeah. That could be. Knock on the door. Knock on the door. Hmm. That should be rap, shouldn't it? Rapping on the door. Hmm. 
Okay, so maybe this is stern instead. That still makes sense. All the blank? All the while? Hmm. Wisconsin City, that's home to Lawrence University. Wisconsin. I don't know Wisconsin very well. This is starting to look like it might be Carpenter, right? At the beginning. Carpenter Ant. <laughs> so it'll end up being Carpenter Antics. That's really funny. That's a great wackified phrase there. Target. Is it just aim at? 1003 in Roman numerals. Well, M is a thousand. So we just have to add three there. Thunderstruck Rock Band. I'm pretty sure that's ACDC. Sounds of Disapproval. We get Tisks. We have Pift and Tisk. <laughs> a lot of sound effects on this puzzle. All right, let's take a look at this next theme answer. We have the ICS already. Frights upon waking up from sunbathing naps. Hmm. Sunbathing. Frights. Is it about getting sunburned? I wonder. Hmm. Dweller east of the North Atlantic. Okay, well, this should be a European, right? Nice, we've got both sides of the Atlantic there. It's kind of fun that they're in mirrored positions here too. Okay, so is this frantic? Hmm. All the rage, maybe? Wisconsin City, right. Hmm. Fitzgerald of Jazz? That's gotta be Ella Fitzgerald. Hmm, boy, yeah, I don't know if I know this city. And another thing, an equivalent phrase. Could that be plus? Yeah. Hmm. This looks like it wants to be ING. Frying something? That seems like it might be right. Frying, it's not frying pans though, is it? I think it should be, right? Frying panics? That's too good not to put in. So I guess plus is not right. Maybe it's also? Yeah. And then that lets us put in pan. Frying panics. Boy, I really like carpenter antics and frying panics. <laughs> They're both so kind of frenetic sounding. Um, hmm, yeah. Let's get more help with this one. Blank who? Is that you who? Trying to get someone's attention. You might put your stamp on it. Hmm, an envelope? Doesn't seem like that's gonna work. SpongeBob SquarePants EG? I guess he's just a cartoon, right? That's about the most general answer I could think for that clue. Computer networking company. I think that's Cisco. Yeah, their logo is on all the telephones at like office buildings. Blank the other reindeer. All of the other reindeer? Used to laugh and call him names? Yeah. That's Rudolph, okay. Respond to a stimulus. I guess this is just react, right? Another very general answer there. Is this slate chalkboard material? Yeah. Cocoa tiramisu topper? Yeah. And then is this often? In many cases, yeah. And then that gives us toe again. Last time we had a sticky gecko appendage. What is this one? Low digit wordplay. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little bit of wordplay there. Yeah, because your toes are digits, just like your fingers, yeah. Okay, annoyingly slow. Is it pokey? Yeah, if you're pokey, you're slow, right? You might put your stamp on it. Is it an ink pad? Oh yeah, that's kind of clever. That's a little bit of misdirection there. This is not about, you know, approving something. This is literally something you would put your rubber stamp on. Long ago could be your, days of your. Ship built with the help of Athena. That's gotta be Jason's ship, the Argo. Chairs superior? Could that be a dean, like at a college? 
sports org with the Ryder Cup. I think the Ryder Cup is golf, so that would be the PGA, right? All right, and this is gonna be our last theme answer. Things that dad likes to discuss. Hmm, is this a pop top? And then it would be pop topics? <laughs> I guess, yeah, that has to be right. Pop topics. What is a pop top? Is it a car? Is it like a kind of convertible? I'm actually not sure. I feel like I've heard that phrase before, but I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, hopefully the goose will let us know. And then, is this Appleton? Yeah, I haven't heard of that city before. Sounds nice though. Sounds like they might have some good cider there. Madrid's land to locals. Um, so we're looking for the name for Spain in Spanish. That should be España. Snoozed, that could be napped, yeah. Many, an anonymous source on Capitol Hill. I guess it's those loose-lipped aides on Capitol Hill, yeah. CBS police procedural could be NCIS, yeah. Italian wine region, I believe that's Asti. That's the Italian wine region. Let's just make sure that's right on the crosses here. Deal with issues at work, wordplay. Oh, this is good too. You're dealing with magazine issues, right? because you're an editor. Yeah, that's funny. And then this should be Desi, member of the South Asian diaspora. Yeah, that's kind of the name used for the people from this diaspora. Yeah, it's Desi. Okay, all right, let's throw that in and see if that does it for us. Nice, 18 minutes, boy, that compares favorably with our Monday time this week. Yeah, this was a very nice and smooth puzzle. Um, I guess, yeah, it's just ICS at the end of everyday phrases to make new wackified phrases. I'm trying to think if there's like a funny way to read this that would be kind of like an additional pun. Ices? Ices. Yeah, I don't know. Additional Ices? <laughs> well, if you can think of another punny phrase that could tie all these icy suffixes together, let me know in the comments. Um, I did like these wacky phrases, especially carpenter antics and frying panics. Those are really funny. We had a couple of wordplay clues, not too many, but we kind of missed out on them because we got a lot of the crossing first. We had toe for low digit, which I really liked a lot. And we also had this kind of magazine pun, deal with issues at work. Yeah, that's another good one. I also really like this misdirection on ink pad. Yeah, that was great. Um, I really like kind of devious misdirection clues like that. All right, well, I think even with all these suffixes, the ick factor was very low on this Wednesday puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee-themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.